Hi, I'm Ed Davis. I'm a volunteer lifeboat crew and a senior naval architect here at the RNLI. I was part of the original design team for the Shannon class lifeboat. I'm here today to talk to you about how our lifeboats recover from a capsize or from a knockdown as we saw on Hastings lifeboat uh, during Storm Chiara. All our all-weather lifeboats are designed to be inherently self-writing, which in simple terms means that they'll come back upright if they ever capsized, uh, protect our crew and continue to operate. There are three key design elements that enable this to happen. Firstly, during the early stages of design, uh, we position all the large heavy items as low down in the boat as possible. And secondly, we design the wheelhouse to be light, strong and full of air. Uh, so if it ever went underwater, it would remain buoyant uh, and help the boat come back upright. In order for the boat to operate, uh, we must maintain airflow, uh, both for the crew to breathe and for the engines to continue running. Uh, but if the boat did capsize, then all of those openings around the boat need to shut off to stop water flooding in and potentially stopping the boat self-writing. Lastly, we have some systems on board which will detect the capsize and will carry out some actions to protect the boat and allow the boat to continue to operate when it comes back upright. The engines will throttle back to idle and the radar will stop spinning. Throughout this, the crew are all strapped into their seats uh, to keep them protected and safe and also to let them carry on carrying out their life-saving work. Thank you for your messages of support and for your donations, we couldn't do this without you.